Welcome back everybody, every day with me Nick and Simon's here with me today as well he's been helping me do the track extension that we completely forgot to take any footage of and dig holes so I've saved you many hours of that um, so yeah we've got this track extension on we've got a log on we've got the log deck built behind me which is on another you know yeah you'll have seen that hopefully now maybe he's I don't know can't remember if I took any footage didn't um, so yeah we're gonna get this smashed out now get it cut down and then uh, yeah you guys can see with us I said I best get you guys on camera otherwise you won't believe me so that's what we're doing now so there she is in all her glory
Dante be eight now? I'd like to sit up beside that 6x6, because I, I thought that 6x6 really, six was big. We've got that 6x6 six cut off there, haven't we? I thought that was yeah. big. But bloody hell. Yeah. And that, that looks tiny now. And it does, doesn't it? <laughs> Oh my That's god, how light it is. that looks <laughs> tiny compared to that now. Be right oh. back, guys. Hi, everyone, and uh, welcome back to Everyday with me, Nick. And today we are back on the sawmill. Um, I th well, I think this is going to be like all, all a part of a few same videos. Well, all videos into one sort of thing. That's what I'm going for, I think. So what, what have we been doing? So uh, I want to recap of what's going on because I just went hammer and tong at so many, so many things the other day. I just didn't even get a chance to um, to show you guys what, what's been going on around the sawmill. Um, so where, what, what have we been doing? I'll take you off and you can see what's going on. Right, so there's the sawmill as you can, under the tarp. Need to get something sorted for this as soon as possible. Get a structure around it. It needs it desperately. Um, obviously, we had this. Got in touch with. Uh, got in touch with Andy, uh, Andy Dudley at um, Global Recycling Solutions, where I purchased the mill from. Uh, really, really good guy. You know, he, he's he's got he's got time for you and um he's been commented on the videos so he's seen what's going on so hi andy thanks very much for all your help and your continued help uh i phoned him up and said right andy need a track extension i've got these logs somewhere there i've got these logs the 4.8 4.9 meters I just can't do them on the mill and uh personally i was going to make my own i actually bought some some um, angle iron very similar specs to what um what frontier have on their deck on their track extension but i just um I, I couldn't get the steel for the box section could have made some at do but i just i just didn't then i needed a leveling feet then i needed some this and that and i just i just went right let's just let's just phone andy up or message him let's get some things going so We've got a track extension. We also got a cam dog as well. Oh. <laughs> um, so this is going to go on a, on a bar. Well, this actually can replace or be used in conjunction with the screw down type um, um, cam dog, I guess. Um, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I have got another piece of pipe um to go maybe here um and that, that'll you know clamp it in or i might move move that one from there down to here and that up there i just don't know yet uh so yeah we've got a cam dog um to go on looks really good also got a another log rest um stop back stop or whatever you want to call it um that's to put on as well uh, now the reason I've got another one is you'll see why and excuse the mess at the moment but I've got one there and one there so I'll go a bit closer yeah so I've got one there and I've got one there which is just up there so currently this log isn't touching that one up there Hmm. So, either I move this log that way, so it touches it, which I may have to, at this, looking at this now, or I install another one in a strategic position <laughs> and um, completely get, do away with that one and just use this, use this bunk, that bunk, and one down there. And then that'll be able to take all the logs uh, for you know the length that I need so I think I might do that yeah I might get rid of that one it's a bit too close to the mill anyway so if we put it here it'd be all right so yeah there's that so that's to do what else have we got done 
yeah so we've got the track extension we've got some posts put in the ground they're just they're not holding anything up um it's leveled it looks good it rolls good so that's to do also probably seen on another bits of the videos me digging it out i've made a log deck now please ignore the temporary cross braces that i'm using these are uh, some old roofing joists that um that reclaimed um they aren't gonna stay there forever i am going to mill up some four by fours and put them across uh these four by fours that are in the ground uh, i'm gonna do it that way but just temporarily whilst i've got whilst i haven't got these four befores milled i've used these and don't get me wrong they are holding up these logs no problem so i'm not worried about about them at all i've spaced them it's three meter log deck and um i've put like obviously one in the, in, in between so we've got like zero 1.5 three meters there should be plenty of plenty of bracing on like plenty of structure on it and these are good sized timbers as well they're the old school so they're like seven by two and a half so they're good size david brown over there uh struggling to pick up the logs in their full size um which is a shame but go straight on these log decks no problem temporary solution going across here i'm going to show you because all you um all you guys who were um all see it go you know got crackers over the safety of it um design flaw um for me and i don't know if you can see it this post at uh, this this foot these feet on this one aren't supported above the post i must have done a miscalculation and had a boo-boo <laughs> so i could move it from there and there's a hole just further back and i could put them down well i'm gonna i'm gonna just gonna put a brace across um inside here i think that's what i'm gonna do so yeah bit of a bodge i only had some certain posts left over so where are we well i think we're ready to mill this is the log uh simon wants some eight by eights and you can see an eight by eight just here now he wants some eight by eights for um we're making a pagola for him and he's doing them with eight by eight um posts and they're absolutely incredible they're a hellish chunk of wood and i tell you what they look really nice as well once they've because uh, we've been we're burning them we're doing that is it shard shard dewy shards ah, I don't know. it's a japanese method or something where we burn the wood i can't really see it on this we cut so much off but yeah we burn the wood and um that protects it you need to put a bit of oil around it where it protects it so yeah right i'm babbling let's get on with um cutting some uh some some wood yeah let's do it right bye for now right so we've just installed the uh, additional log rest i am going to move that one that i said from there and put it up there at some point just not today it always seems like i come round here and too much to do I'm also going to be making a new cant hook uh, or you know log PV whichever ones they are because mine is slightly bent so I'm going to reuse the hook part and uh, put it against some more substantial uh, walled tube I might just put it on a scaffy pole to be honest because they're they're quite robust yeah it'll be heavy but at least I'll be able to make it a good length and you know get the leverage on it I'm not going to put the um this point on it uh simply because it digs into the finished product you don't want that do you want it so
Right, another little addition that I've done is I put a hook on the side of the uh, of the dust pot, and I have also oh Garrett. Purchased a five gallon bucket. And what I do is just hang it on there. It saves all that sawdust going everywhere. <laughs> right, I've already done a bit of a cheat on this and I've marked it out. Already. I've got to say as well that uh, for anyone who has a sawmill, if someone's got a fire going and it's rather smoky, um, anyone who's got a sawmill, I would seriously invest in one of these. And this is a battery powered, um, battery powered transfer pump. Um, can do all sorts. I think that looks like a handy spurs. Uh, you can do oils, like not thick oils, but oils, water, diesel, petrol. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it just saves. Just saves having the uh, fuel go all over. Down because that's the one that costs the most money. The price is a petrol at the moment, or gas for you uh, American viewers and whoever else calls it gas. And uh, yeah, that's it. So, this is just the uh, Ray. 
Beer. This is just the uh, Sealy, which is a brand in the UK. Uh, Sealy liquid transfer pump. There you go. Well, electric jerry can pump, it actually says, but <laughs> it works a treat. So there you go, get yourself one. Get yourselves one. Now we're back in action. Right, my lovely peoples, that's going to wrap it up for today. Um, I'm night shift tonight, so I would have put another one on. I'd have got the, I've got one on the deck there, look, that's uh, ready to go on the mill, but uh, I'm night shift, so here's where it is. Um, right, so you see me, mill that up there. Um, like I say, my, my team leader, Simon, he... Um, he wants, well, he's, it, we're doing an eight by eight uh, pergola and it's it's just insane. Um, well, you, they're here, you know, it's, it's, you know, they're a good size and they're heavy. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, we're, uh, we're doing that. So I've got, he's got one. I've just milled another one. I've got two more to go. And then just all the stuff that he needs you know, to go with it. Um, sorry about that, guys. Um, and then we've got some boards as well, so let's go see what we got over here. Obviously, we we got a lot of firewood. You know, that's it is. That's what you get. That was off a previous one. Uh, they were all off previous ones too. But yeah, here's what we got. Oh, the six by six was off previous one. So we got uh, 4, 8, 12, 14 boards, uh, 6 inch boards, they're 8 foot them so they do need chopping down, but yeah 6 inch boards and this 8 by 8 oh, and a lot of stickers as well, we've, we've cut a lot of stickers because obviously for wood to dry properly we need stickers. So yeah, that eight by eight's looking phenomenal. Huge. Um, not a bad finish either. 
really really nice um but yeah like i said we were gonna we're gonna we're gonna burn we're gonna burn these so that it protects them and then give an oil in oil to them as well but yeah as you can see there we've pretty much got it center of the heart um that's because i did a little bit of a cheat drawing first i did like you know drawing it all out um damn dogs uh so yeah well, we've got uh Well, to the outer rings of there is 23, so it's 23 year old on this bit. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's, it is going to crack. You can see that it's going to check. It's going to crack up the up the beam as well, and it's going to check there as well, and it's going to check up there. Uh, it's going to check a few places, but um, Simon's going to treat the ends. It's too late now. It should have been done when they were first cut, but it is what it is. He's going to burn them, treat them, do whatever he needs to, and um, yeah, absolutely pin level as well. So, sawmills dialed in, proper dialed in as well. Um, yeah, I've got some stock up here. I need to start being a bit more accurate with myself. I need to think that, right... We can get some two two inch material, two by material. So I'm gonna start sounding American now. So if we can get some two by material, I need to know what I need. And then if I can get some one bys, I can get some one bys. So uh, yeah, because I've got this huge, huge slab. Um, that I was gonna get a couple of fence boards out of, but I did it an inch thick. So I don't know why I did it an inch thick, but I did. Um, so I can't get no fence boards out of that because I'm anywhere from 17 well 16 to, to 18 mil is me tolerance some there but they're a little bit out of tolerance but yeah it's it's uh just it's 12 inches wide so it's it's, it's an absolute beast beast so yeah we're doing good so I'm going to get the sawmill wrapped up uh, get some gear put away, go around home, chill out before I go at night. Um, we've got an exciting thing to show you guys for the Frontier Sawmill. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's going to make the operation 1 million percent smoother. Mm, got you thinking, what will it be? You'll find out on the next video. So... I'm going to get tidied up. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much to everybody who's watching, subscribing, commenting, liking, disliking. <laughs> There's some of you out there that are disliking my videos. Um, but yeah, it really means a lot. And looking at where we're at now with subscribers, you know, we're, we are, I think, 200 and something subscribers away from being a thousand. You know, that's phenomenal. That In... You know, in about six months, it, it's gone up nearly fi 500, 500, 600 subscribers. So thank you very much to everyone. Thank you, everyone, to uh, who's, who's subscribing as well, newly. So ciao for now, guys. Take care, and we'll see you on the next video.